Welcome to the Automation Technologies RS Logics 500 training series. This is Russell White and I'll be leading you through some short examples on programming in this platform. There's one more thing that I'd like to talk about that's important with this um, and that is part of this control word. So let me open up that. Here's what those control words look like. You have your enables and your duns and your uh, length and your position. That length is the same thing as here. The, the one important bit that we want to look at is this UL bit. This is called the unload bit. Now you may be wondering, okay, what, what happens with this information when I shift a bit and it kind of drops off the side of my word? What, what do I do with it and how can I control that? Well, this unload bit is what you have right here and that's to, to be able to handle that. Let's open up our integer again. All right, I've got two bits right here that are getting ready to, uh, shall we say, drop off the side of our word. And if I do a bit shift left, so let's go to the bit shift left command and toggle this on, you notice its unload bit is set to one. So that means that one was just shifted off the end of our word. I do it again, toggle it, same thing. Our unload bit is set to one. Now, we have a zero here, so I shift it one last time, and now notice that that unload bit is set to zero. So it, it gives you an idea of what was shifted off uh, of your word so that you can control that and, and be able to uh, connect it with other things and, and be able to uh, do logic that might uh, be useful uh, where you need to, to find out and, and control what uh, what that lost bit, shall we say, is uh, going to take care of. Well, that pretty much covers what I want to take care of here uh, concerning shift registers. Uh, once again, any questions that you have, please feel free to uh, contact me with those questions and I'll be happy to get back with you with answers, either through video or for email. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get back offline. Uh, no, I don't need to save any changes. And uh, I'll go ahead and, and end this video and get offline that way also. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you've learned something and it, it can be useful in your PLC programming career. Thank you. This is Russell White, Automation Technologies. Uh, these videos are also available, and usually they're a more full version on www.automationnc.com. And that's Automation Technologies in North Carolina. Thank you.